Hi friends, today is our topic is the anatomy of the middle ear. In the last video, uh, we have seen the anatomy of the external ear along with ear wax and everything, right? So today uh, we are going to see the middle middle ear, and uh, uh, this is our uh, subheadings. Okay, we will see the middle ear. First of all, what is the important in the middle ear? That is the relation of the middle ear is the very very important. Middle ear is the acid question, right? Exam you can ask in four marks. Relation, okay. Relation alone is the very very important, okay. And even they can ask uh, individual surface like the uh, what are the relations of the posterior surface or the medial surface or lateral surface, okay. So this is the very important things, okay. So relation of the middle ear is very very important. Uh, we will cover in the size, shape, measurement, subdivision, communications of the middle ear, right? Uh, boundaries, relations, blood supply, nerve supply, lymphatic, and the last we will. Go through the content. Okay. Now, from where I should start the middle ear? Can I start from like direct subdivision or the uh, like communications from where? Okay. First of all, uh, I would love to tell you uh, mention the uh, um, exact location of the middle ear. Okay. So I want to uh, tell you an exact location of the middle ear. Okay. So now you are seeing from front view okay not front view from top view okay so you just assume that this is from the top okay obviously here is your nose here is this here so you are seeing from the top okay so this is what this is the external auditory canal okay here is the middle ear this thing is the middle ear and here is the cochlea and the vestibules here is this is the cochlea here is the vestibule here is the semicircular canal right semicircular. so this is the middle ear okay now tell me this is the which part uh one more diagram you see here same here right now Can you tell me about this? Right. So, this is what? This is the anterior cranial fossa. Anterior cranial fossa. This is the middle cranial fossa, right? And this is what? Posterior cranial fossa. Am I right or not? Okay. So, this middle ear present in the middle cranial fossa, one thing. Second thing, which part of the middle cranial fossa? Here, here is the, this is the middle cranial fossa. Am I right? Now, there is this boundaries. Okay, what is this? This is the pictures part of the temporal bone, right? So, pictures part of temporal bone. So, now, now I want to tell you, the middle ear is the air filled cavity, air filled cavity present in the pitreous part of the temporal bone. So, this is the pitreous part of the temporal bone, okay, in the middle cranial fossa. So, this is the exact location of the middle ear in our body, right. So, this is the top view. Now, now we have to see, like, I am standing here, right. Now you are cutting me from here and you are seeing from this side, right? So this is the lateral view, okay? So I want to draw first of all the lateral view, okay? What will happen if you cut me from here and which structure will be there, okay? So I am starting with the lateral view, right? So I want to rough this, right? Now See the proper from here it's and this is the what is this? This is the anterior cranial fossa, right? Anterior cranial fossa. This is the middle cranial fossa. Am I right? And this is the 
posterior cranial fossa. Now tell. This is the middle cranial fossa and the middle ear is situated in the middle cranial fossa. So, middle ear is somewhat clear. Am I right? Somewhere here. This is the middle ear. Right? Now, this is the middle ear. Am I right? Yes. Now, one thing. Here is the your nasopharynx here. Right? And this part is called pharynx. Pharynx. Right? And here is the middle ear. This is the anterior wall. See, in the boundary, uh, now I want to tell you the uh, middle ear uh, like um, size, uh, size is the um, size and shape. Shape of the middle ear is the cube like structure. Right? So, hexagonal. There is the six surfaces. Or you can tell six wall. Right? In the six wall, one is the roof. Second thing is the floor. Third thing is the lateral wall, medial wall, posterior wall, and anterior wall. Right? So, you assume your room is the uh, middle ear, right? Or, or you just imagine I am standing in the middle ear, right? In the middle ear cavity. So, this should be the anterior wall, posterior wall. This should be the medial wall and your side, okay. That should be the lateral wall and roof. And here is the um, uh, roof, okay. So there is the roof and here is the floor, right. So this is six. Now, this is the anterior wall, okay. This is the medial wall. Somewhat here is the posterior wall. Here is the floor and here is the roof. So, Now you tell me one thing, sir. If it is your middle ear, okay, this is the anterior wall. Suppose this is the anterior wall. So here is one canal. Here is one canal. And this is the this is the nasopharynx, right? And this is, this is the nasopharynx and this is the middle ear. Is there any communication? Yes, there is one communication that is called what? This is what? Can I tell this is the eustachian tube? Can I tell this is the auditory tube? Since it is between the pharynx and the um, middle ear cavity, so this is called what? Na uh, sorry, pharyngotympanic tubes. Okay, and this is for canal for the tensor tympani muscles, and this is the auditory tube. Right? Yes. Now, posteriorly, it's communicate. Posteriorly, it's communicate with her. An air like cavity that is called mastoid cavity, right? So, here is what mastoid cells is present. One thing is the mastoid cells present. It's not like cells, it's like a pocket like structure, right? So, mastoid cells is there, and this is called aditus and aditus and antrum opening, right? So, antrum is the aditus and the antrum. This part is the edges and the antrum, right? So, and here is what? Here is the mastoid process, right? Here is the, this, here is the what? This is what? This is the mastoid process only, no? Okay, so mastoid cavity is there, right? So, posteriorly it's communicate with it. air filled. This is the mastoid cavity, okay? Right? What is the mastoid cavity? Mastoid cavity is the air filled cavity, right? Yes. Consists of the mastoid cells. Now, you tell me one thing. This is the superior surface. So, superior surface, there is the thin bony plate, right? So, thin bony plate is here. That is the superior surface, okay? Or uh, not so, you, you tell the uh, roof. Roof of the middle ear is formed by, here is one thin plate that is called tagman tympani, right? It's very thin and it's called tagman tympani. Tagman tympani, right? And it's also from the roof of the this tensor tympani muscles. And it also goes posteriorly and forms some part of the roof of the this mastoid cavity, right? 
Here is also one thin plate present. So this diagonal uh, tympana is separating from what? Roof of the middle ear from the middle canine fossa. Okay. Here is one thing that is called a dura mater. This is the dura mater. Okay. Why? What is the dura mater? Okay. And why it's called dura mater? What is meaning of dura? Dura is the hard mater means mother. Okay. So it's like uh, dura mater. Okay. Hard like mother, right? For protecting. So this is the dura mater. And this is the diamond tympani. It is very thin. Okay. So why am um, giving force on this uh, tagment tympani because it's a matter of life and death. Okay. In some in some uh, uh, in some cases, what happening in any accidents or um, any uh, any accident? If this this since this is the very thin plate. Okay. If it rupture. Okay. If it is break. Okay. So what will happen? If it is break, then uh, in normal condition, if any infection in the middle ear, okay, can easily reach. There and in the uh, if it is break, what happens? CSS, uh, CSS, uh, CSF will leak from here. Am I right? And here is the one thin plate that that separate posterior cranial fossa from the mastoid cavity. Am I right? If there is any infection in the middle ear, that lead that will come to the this part and uh, mastoid cavity, and from mastoid cavity it can enter into the hair. Right. So before telling that things, I would like to mention here what is here in the posterior part. What is there? There is one thing that is called sigmoid sinus. See here, this is the sigmoid side, right? This is the sigmoid sinus. Okay. So if any infection is here in the mastoid cavity, can easily reach to the sigmoid sinus. Okay. And from here, so thromboflebitis will be at the here, and this infection. Maybe go to backwards. Okay, there is the pons medulla or cerebellum, not cerebrum, cerebellum. Okay, so it can affect that structure also. So there is one thin plate. Okay, it's separating this mastoid cavity from the posterior cranial fossa. Now, can I one thing, sir? This is the communication. Can I tell here is one artery that is called what? This artery. This is what? This is the internal carotid artery. Internal carotid artery. Am I right? Yes. So, anterior wall. Anterior wall of the middle ear. It has two communications. Tensor tympanic muscles and the auditory tube. And inferiorly, it is related with the internal carotid artery. Okay. And the um, um, this is the inferior link and the superior link it has two relation right now what is here in the floor in the floor we have one thing sir that is called this zugular foramen what is this this is the zugular foramen right yes so what is here internal zugular vein is here what is this internal zugular then that is the internal carotid artery, right? Along with this internal jugular vein, there is three now. Can you tell me the name of that now? One, this is the two, and this is the three. So this is the ninth now. That is called a glossopharyngeal now. Here is tenth, that is called vagus, and here is the eleven accessory spinal now, right? So this three now is there. So what happening? One branch of the one branch of the Glossopharyngeal now. See, here is also one uh, thin plate, right? Here is also one thin plate, but a branch of glossopharyngeal pierces the floor and enter into the middle ear cavity. And see, if if this part, if this part is the middle ear, uh, sorry, um, medial one, so there will be the promontory. Okay, so it will go to the promontory and participating in the forming the what? Tympanic plexus. Okay. So now you tell me the one thing. Anterior wall is also called. Can I can I write here? Anterior wall. Anterior wall is also called carotid wall. This is the common carotid artery. No. Sorry, this is the internal carotid artery, but this is, it is called carotid 
wall. If you are asking, uh, tell me the relation of the character wall, okay, you should not think like, oh, character wall, there is no character wall, okay, there is only six, okay, it's so a character wall. Now, tell me one thing. This is the lateral wall, okay, lateral wall is uh, uh, made by the compact membrane, right? So, this lateral wall is also called membranous wall. Membranous wall, right? Am I or tympani or else tympani wall? Now, medial wall. Okay, now um, I have not started medial wall yet, eh? but that medial wall, uh, for example, this is the medial wall. After that, what there is the inner ear and there is the labyrinth. Okay, so we can tell mid, middle wall that is also called labyrinthine wall. Am I right? So posterior wall. So posterior wall is communicated with what? Mastoid cavity. So posterior wall is also called a mastoid wall. Right? Mastoid wall or this is here the sigmoid. Okay. Uh, sigmoid sinus is here. Now you tell. This is the superior wall and here is the inferior wall. Okay. So jugular bulb is related to the inferior wall. Am I right? Yes. So these things you have to remember. Now. If, if I'm telling you the communications, okay, so I see here is the communication, okay, subdivision I will cover later, okay, so can you tell me the communications? Anterior is two communications, tensor tympani muscles and the auditory two, right, finish. Posteriorly, it has only one communication, that is the mastoid antrum, okay, I mean mastoid cavity, right, so this communication has been over. And now you should be remember okay why this entry wall is uh, entry wall is called carotid wall because they, here is the sigmoid sinus right so because of this only this is called okay later wall that is the membranous wall because there is the membrane one okay that's why medial is the labyrinthine wall because there is inner ear labyrinthine is there so this is the, okay so this is the overview right how you have to remember this all all these things okay so uh, this is about these things. Okay, now I want to go. Uh, now I want to explain individual wall. Okay, so there is a relation in the anterior one. Uh, so maximum relation we have covered, right? In the lateral one, uh, so lateral wall is uh, there is nothing. Okay, tympanic membrane and the uh, quadrant tympani. Okay, finish. And the medial wall and the posterior wall is the very very important things. Okay, so I want to rough it. Okay, and after that, I I will start from the medial wall. Okay, so. See, this is how you have to remember, okay, if you are remembering like there is the entity, there is a eustachian tube, eustachian tube, you can't understand, okay, so you cut, okay, and you see from the later, so only you will understand, okay, so now I am going on the medial wall, okay, so before going on the medial wall, uh, I will, man, I will tell you some things that the, some, how to tell some uh, normal things, okay, see, say when the science we have covered, okay, cube like structure, so, see, measurement, okay, measurement, if you are, how to tell, if you are, uh, see, anteroposterior, uh, this is how, they have to, like, here is the, this portion is called anteroposterior, and it is the 15 mm, 15 mm this part so this is the anteroposterior this is the vertical part this is the 15 mm right this is the transverse diameter okay this is the transverse diameter so transverse uh, transverse diameter is like lady okay so this is the thin lady okay A smart lady and here is the hip of the lady right so this is Transverse diameter is just this is the 6 mm. Here is it's 2 mm, right? And here it's the 4 mm. So this is the diameter of the middle ear, okay? So uh, measurement over this is over now subdivision, okay? So I want to uh, tell you subdivision, okay? After that we will go to the relations, okay? Now here is this is the external auditory canal, right? Here is the external auditory canal. And here is the tympanic membrane. This is the tympanic membrane. It forms 55 degree angle with the external auditory canal. Now, 
From here, this is the maris. This part is the this part is incus and here is this is the stats right this is the stats now above the tympanic this is the tympanic membrane this is the tympanic membrane so from here From here, above the tympanic membrane that is called epitympanum. Here is the epitympanum. Epitympanum. And this portion is called mesotympanum. Mesotympanum. And below the tympanic cavity, that uh, tympanic membrane that is called hypotympanum. Why is this is some reason important? Because examiner can ask questions, okay, which part of the, sorry, content of the epitymenum, tell me the content of the epitymenum, okay, uh, in the ossicular level, okay, you have to tell, see, this is the malleus, this part is the malleus, this is the incus and this is the stress, okay, so before going on that, uh, I will tell you one thing, that is the malleus structure is somewhat like this, right, so this is the head, here is the neck, right, there is two processes, one process is the anterior process and one is the lateral process, so this is the anterior process, right, here is the lateral process and this is called handle, handle, in the incus, this is the malleus, this is the malleus, this is the incus, right, so in the incus, it's like this, I hope it's visible, uh, it's like this only. So this is the body part, body, this is the short process, right, and this is the long process, this is the long process, right, and in the steps, this is the head, head and this is the footprint of the steps, okay, so now tell me, which part in the epitopenum, can I tell, head of the head, here is the neck and the Handle is some part of the handle is also. Can I tell here is the body? Right? And the short process is also here. And the full steps and the long process. So in the meso water, in meso long process. Long process of step, sorry, long process of incus. Right? And fully steps. Okay. This is the very important thing you have to do. In the hypo, there is no ossicular part. Okay. Ossicular part, there is no ossicular part. So this is the uh, subdivision. So, size and shape we have covered, right? Measurement already. Subdivision, communications also. Okay, boundary also. There is six boundaries. Okay, that is formed by the thin plate of the diagonal tympani in the roof and everything. Okay, now relation, blood supply, and everything we have to discuss. So, I want to remove this. Okay, so this is part you have to remember head, neck, lateral process, anterior process, and the handle is present in the various. Okay, like them in the viva, they will ask these things. Okay, so we have to. No, this so this is the diameter okay 15 and to posterior diameter is the 15 vertical diameter this is the vertical diameter okay this this this, this diameter no this is the vertical diameter and this is and this diameter is what transverse diameter transverse diameter it's some like look like the uh rbc right that lady like structure so now i'm starting with the middle ear sorry medial wall of the middle ear now you have to you should concentrate here and just try to understand one thing. Yeah. This is the medial wall. Medial wall of the middle ear, right? There is something that is called promontory. Here is the promontory. This is the promontory, right? So what is the promontory? Why this is the range one elevation? Promontory is nothing, it is the basal turn of the cochlea. Okay, this is the medial wall. Right? For example, this is the medial wall. Right, so what is here? Inner ear, there is no cochlea, little semicircular canal. Okay, so that is the basal turn of the cochlea is called promontory. Am I right or not? Yes. And here is the plexus, now plexus. Okay, so 
tympanic plexus is there in the promontory, right? So it is a network of the nerve. One thing is the promontory. Second thing is here. That is called oval window. Oval window. And one thing is here that is called round window. Am I right or no? Yes. Can you tell me the position of the oval window? It is situated superiorly and the posterior to the promontory. So posterior superiorly. Yes. So I am writing in the red markers. So this is the posterior superior. Posterior superiorly. Right. And this is the round window is the situated the inferior. Posterior inferior. Postro inferior, right? Now tell me one thing. This is the oval window, right? Oval window is covered by foot plate of the steps. Here is the foot plate of the steps is here, right? This is what? This is the foot plate uh, plate of steps. Right? And this round window is covered by secondary tympanic membrane so this is the difference you have to know can you tell me the first sound sound will come first to which window that is the oval window not round window it come to oval window oval window generate the impulse and it will travel into this 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 and it will come to like this okay so whenever there is pressure from the round window oval window come out right so this is now oval window is also called this is the Oval window, oval window is also called like a uh, vestibular window. Okay, and this is also called for the cochlea window or fenestra rotundum. It's called okay. Now these three are there. Now one thing is that uh, facial now is the very very important thing. Facial now bony canal for the facial now. So this is the bony canal, right? And now I have to remove all this because I want to draw posterior surfaces here. Okay. So I am covering simultaneously post posterior surfaces also. Right. So uh, this is the oval window and this is the round window. Right. And here is our posterior surface. This is our posterior surface. Right. So, the scanner will come here and uh, it will be like this. This is what? This is the canal, facial canal. This, that is called facial canal. You can tell bony canal. Bony canal for what? Facial. Now, am I right or not? Yes. So, this is also one thing. One thing is there is some sulcus. This is what? This is due to the semicircular canal. Okay, so this is what? Semicircular canal. Semicircular canal. Am I right? Yes. Now, this is about medial wall. Now, in the lateral wall, this is the about the medial wall, right? Now, in the lateral, uh, this, is, this is the posterior wall. This is the posterior wall. Round window is here. Sorry. Uh, this uh, one thing you remember. This is the horizontal part of the bony canal. So bony canal which part? The horizontal part. And vertical part. This is the vertical part. This is the vertical part of the facial canal. Right. Now. Here is something that is called the Pyramid structure. Here is something that is called pyramid structure. Okay. It is in the posterior wall only. Okay. So, what I am doing that is the uh, facial canal is here. Okay. Just assume this is the our facial canal. Right. And here is something that is called the pyramid. Pyramidal annulus. And here is the muscles that is called stapedius muscles. This muscles is called Tepidious muscles. Tepidious muscles. Right? So this is the pyramid. This is the vertical part. Right? And
and here is one window. Window like this. That is called additus and antrum, right? That is the communication. If you go through this window, you will jump into the mastoid cavity, right? So this is also additus, additus and antrum. Antrum is this side, in the posterior side. Okay, additus is there. So additus and antrum. So this is here, right? Now uh, I am coming to the this uh, medial wall again. So here is the foot plate of the steps. One thing I want to tell you that the student is thinking that the movement of the step is, is, steps is like this. Okay, piston like movement, which is wrong. Okay, this movement is like hinge door movement. Okay, door movement, how? If one side door, door is going to open like this and close it. Open, close it. Okay, why? Because this foot plate of the steps, see here, this is the oval window. This is the oval window, right? Oval window. So here is the foot plate of steps is here. Here is the foot plate of the steps. So this foot plate of steps, the foot plate of steps is attached to this oval window by annular ligament. Annular ligament. Right? Annular ligament. So what happening actually? This annular ligament is the short and thick at the posterior surfaces of the posteriorly. This is the oval window. Here is covering of the steps. Here is the oval window. This is the covering the um, foot plate of the steps. So from posterior surface, annular ligament is the thick, the thick and the short. So it is like this. This is the movement. This is the movement of the steps. It's not like this. This is movement. This movement is the step. So door hinge movement in the all window. Okay, steps movement is like this. Okay, and this is the round window. Okay, and other thing is one thing I I I want to tell you from here. Uh, facial now coming from here. No, so facial now come from where? It's come, it's emerging from here and it's come out from here. But but we have to see one thing so that is the this is the semicircular canal eminence. Okay, one thing you remember: facial now it came from here, came from here and it's go into this and this this bony canal it runs horizontal backward. Yes, it runs horizontal backwards and it runs after that within the posterior canal. Within the posterior canal, and one thing you remember, facial nerve does not expose into the middle ear. Yes, it does not expose into the middle ear. Okay, it's come here and it's run into the, this bony canal. Okay, now facial nerve is come from here and it's giving one here is that is called geniculate, geniculate ganglion. Geniculate ganglion. Am I right? Yes. So from here. Where it's come? So you remember, you know already basics, right? So this is the pons. Here is the medulla. So it's come through the pontomedullary junctions. This is the facial now. Pontomedullary junctions. Okay. And I would uh, like to mention one thing that is see here. This is the your view. Okay. This is your view. And here is your external auditory canal, here is your middle ear, and here is the cochlea, here is the vestibule, right? And here is something that is called what? This is what? This is the very important thing. This is called internal acoustic meatus. Internal acoustic meatus, right? So, facial now come out from the pontomedullary junctions and it enter into the internal acoustic meatus. What is this? This is the bony part present within the petrous part of the temporal bone. Okay, so this facial now enter into the internal acoustic meatus. Am I, am, am I right or not? This, this is internal acoustic meatus, in the internal acoustic meatus, right? After that it what happened? It's internal acoustic meatus. It runs along with vestibular cochlear nerve. Here, here is two nerve. 
One is the vestibular cochlear nerve is also going, and second is the facial nerve is also coming. So vestibular cochlear nerve. So cochlear part is ending in the cochlear, vestibular part in the vestibule, vestibule, and facial nerve comes forwards here in the it enters into the middle ear and it runs in the bony part and within the posterior wall and it come out from here. One thing remember. So here this facial now come out. Here and here is one liga. Here is one process that is called foramen, stellomastoid foramen. Stellomastoid foramen. Am I right or not? Above this stellomastoid foramen, six mm. I think it's mm, not centimeter. Okay. From here, it's give one branch. Branch is going like this. Now concentrate here. Here is the something that is called posterior canalicus here is something that is called i i should write it here okay that is called posterior canaliculus right posterior canaliculus from here a branch of a branch of facial nerve this is the facial nerve a branch of the facial nerve entering into the middle ear and it's going like somewhat like this right it's going somewhat like this. Okay. Now one thing. I want to rough that part. Okay. So this bony part, horizontal and all, I want to rough this part, right? Now what I'm going to draw here, that is the anterior surface. Anterior surface is here. Now you know anterior surface is communication. First communication is this tensor temporary muscles for a canal for the tensor temporary muscles. Second thing is the U station tube, right? Third thing, you know this, and and this is the anterior surface, okay? So here is the external, sorry, here is the internal carotid artery, right? This is the internal carotid artery. We have seen already. Now this corner tympani now came out. Yes, here is one. What we should tell? It came out from here. This is the corner tympani now, right? So, petrotympanic recess, this is called petrous part, so petrotympanic recess. Yes, it's present there, okay. In our book, it's not given, but it's there. Okay, you remember. So, it's come out from here. Now, one thing is, uh, now I am talking about, uh, this is the internal characteristic. Can you know all the four ganglions? In the mandibular, uh, submandibular ganglion, okay, there is the facial nerve. So sympathetic plexus, may, uh, sympathetic fibers make plexus around the which uh, facial artery. In the otic ganglion, there is the middle meningeal artery, and in the pterygopalatine ganglion, right. So in that, what happening? That internal carotid artery is there. So sympathetic uh, fibers making one plexus around. See here, uh, I want to draw in this color, okay. So, so sympathetic fibers is here. It's making plexus around this. Okay. And making plexus around this and it's enter here is something. Okay. It's enter into here and it's come to the, this part. Okay. Here is also one thing and it's enter into the, this part and it's come to this. Can you tell me the now, name of this now? This is the this is the carotid and this is the tympani. Okay. Carrot, carry. It is called Carito tympanic now. Like this is the superiorly, this is the inferiorly. Am I right or not? Yes. So this diagram is not useful. So I want to rough this part. So what we should do right now? This this I am going to rough and uh, see uh, simultaneously we are covering the facial nerve also, right? Facial nerve is emerging from here, internal uh, acoustic meters. After that, it's uh, one branch they gave here, geniculate ganglion, right? So one branch is here. This is for geniculate ganglion, okay? And 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 name of this branch is what? Greater petrosal nerve, okay? So I want to rough this part uh, and. Here is the coreptico, one, one thing, here is the coreptico tympanic now, okay, and, and one thing, 
This is the petrotympanic irises, right? If, if it is the petrotympanic irises, one artery will come from here. One artery will come from here and, and it, it enter into the middle ear, okay? And name of this artery. What is name of? Anterior tympanic artery, right? What is this? This is the posterior canonicus, okay? So, one artery will come from here. Here and it enter into the uh, enter into the middle ear through posterior canaliculus, right? So this artery name is the posterior uh, tympanic artery, right? Posterior tympanic artery. This is called posterior tympanic artery. Now you tell me one thing. Can I summarize everything? Okay. I want to now summarize everything. Okay. Before going to summarize it, uh, one things I would uh, like to tell you that is that uh, tympanic, uh, sorry, canal for the tensor tympanic membrane. Okay. So I want to rough this part and we will read it here, right? See here. There is one canal. So here is one canal. And here is one muscles. Okay. And above this, there is what? It's like uh, this, this is what? Anterior cranial fossa. So these muscles get attached to the hair. Tensor tympani here. And can you tell me here is what? Eustachian tube, right? So it's also attached to the eustachian tube. Okay. So this is the insertion. Uh, so this is the origin, right? Now, manis. Uh, I here is the manis. Manis, right? So it what it does, it comes, tendon it's come here and it's attached to the malleus. Handle of the malleus. Okay. Ha handle of the malleus. Right? Handle of the malleus. Now, this is coming from here. So this came from here like this, 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 this. Okay. These are the tendon. Am I right? Am I right? This is the tendon of the this muscles. Right? So, what it does, it, it makes it plexus, sorry. Uh, this is the tendon, okay. Uh, one thing I forgot in the middle uh, wall, that is the, here is one hook-like structure, right? That is called processus cochlearyformis. This name, hook is here, okay. I'm, hook is here, that is called processus. Processus cochlearyformis, right? So, this tendon is, uh, uh, the tendon attached to uh, make one uh, loop around this uh, process is cochlear forming and it attached to the malleus. So, what is the importance? Importance is, uh, see, whenever sound is coming from the external ear, okay, it's going into the, uh, uh, through the tympanic uh, cavity and um, this malleus incus and steps, they are vibrating. Am I right? They are vibrating. So, excessive sound, so excessive sound they cannot, uh, and uh, one thing, uh, that I will tell you in the steps muscles. Okay. See, this muscle's name is the tensor tympani muscles. Name of this muscles is the tensor tympani muscles. Okay. Can you tell me why name is tensor tympani? This name is the tensor tympani only. No. Tensor tympani muscles. Okay. Why it's called tensor? Tell me. This is my question. Why it's called tensor? Do you know? Whenever, see, here is the tympanic membrane. I hope you can see it uh, clearly. Here is the tympanic membrane, right? Here is the tympanic membrane. So, handle of the malleus is attached to the tympanic membrane. So, whenever this muscles will contract, here is the, here is the incision, this, this muscles and this hip from here is the origin. So, whenever this muscles will contract, okay, malleus will go medially. Am I right? So, malleus will move medially. So, this tympanic membrane will also move medially, right? So now shape of the tympanic membrane is this. It will change and it will be like this. Okay, so there is tension. Tension generated in the, uh, this tympanic membrane, right? So tension produced by this uh, muscles. Okay, so only this muscles, the tension produced in which structure? In tympanic membrane only, right? So only this muscles is called what? Tensor, right? And tympanic muscles. So why this tensor? Because it produces tension in the tympanic membrane. That's why it's called tensor, right? So this muscles are attached to the this. Second thing, what I want to like to tell you that is the, here the stapedes muscles. Okay, what is the importance of this muscles? I want to uh, tell you here. Okay. So here is the pyramid structure. So here is the also pyramid like structure, hollow pyramid like structure. See here. Okay, and here is the muscles is going out. Malleus. 
in plus n steps. Okay, so there is steps, and it's going and attached to the steps, map of the steps, right? Uh, for example, uh, the, this is our steps. Okay, so it's finding here. Now you tell me, external ear, middle ear, and internal ear. Okay, so before entering into the middle ear, any sound is before entering into the inner ear. Okay, first of all, it reached to the this oval window, right? And oval window is covered by foot plate of the steps. Am I? So this muscles is attached to the this. So what happening? If there is a loud sound, okay, the loud sound is there, or there is excessive sound, okay. So what it does? Uh, this stapedius muscles will contract. It will contract, right? So if, if it will contract, okay. So mm, it restrict the movement of the steps. So steps will movement of the steps is restricted, and it slowly, slowly it will uh, move. Okay. So why? What is the importance of this? Uh, it prevent in it prevent inner ear inner ear from excessive sound or loud sound right so it prevent inner ear from the excessive sound or the um, loud sound okay so this is the um, stability okay now i have covered everything so i want to explain this diagram again okay for only for two minutes can you tell me the relation of the can tell me the relation of the anterior wall. It's very easy. Canal for the tensile tympani and the eustachian tube that is called auditory tube. Finish. And there is one feces that is called pterygo tympanic feces. Right? So there is a pterygo tympanic feces. Okay? And this is the superior the inferior. Cortico tympanic feces, or you can tell from here the cortico tympanic now is coming. Okay, so this all are the anterior relations. Now, can you tell me this is what? This is the facial now, right? This is the facial now. It came here and it gave one branch that is called geniculate branch. And one thing, here is facial now. Okay, here also it's giving one branch. Okay, that is called here muscles is stupidis. So that is called now to the stupidis, right? And here this muscles, this is here this is now. This is what corda tympani now. Okay, can you tell me one thing before going on the relations? Uh, there is see there is. So many logic, okay. Why this called why this now is called quad tympani? This name this now on no this now name is the quad tympani. Quad tympani. Why it's called quad tympani? Then when you are examining or when you are seeing the middle ear cavity from the tympanic membrane, okay. So see here is the tympanic membrane. So if you see from uh, this side, so there will be. For example, uh, I will tell you here. So, okay, here is the tympanic membrane. So, if you are seeing from here, so inside there is cord-like structure. Inside there is cord-like structure, and you are seeing from the tympanic membrane. So that's why it's called corda. Corda means cord-like structure. Cord-like structure. Okay. So it's only called corda tympanic now. So now one thing. Okay. I want to remove all these things. Yeah. Uh, it, it may be irritating you, okay? So, uh, I want to remove all these things. So, now, in the posterior wall, can you tell? This is what? Vertical part of the facial now present in the posterior surface. This is what? Pyramid. Third thing is the, here is the posterior canaliculus. And this is the editus and the enter. So, these all are the features of the posterior wall. Can you tell me the middle, uh, middle wall? Promontory one things, oval window two things, Th third is the round window, fourth is the horizontal part and this is the recess, fifth and this recess also is there in the posterior surface, okay. So this all are and one thing is this, processes, cochlear formis, okay, these are also there. So these are the relation of the medial surface, later um, posterior surface we have finished and anterior surface we have finished, right. Now, Middle ear, so there is in the roof, there is no uh, only tegment tympanic muscles. Sorry, that is the bone. And here, can you tell me the inferior relations? That is jugular. Jugular bulb is here, no? So, uh, inferiorly, I want to tell you one thing here is the jugular bulb. This is the jugular bulb. Okay, in this, what happens? Uh, one thing, uh, this is what? Internal cavity artery. Am I right? Yes, here is three now. Nine. 
10th and 11th. This is the 11th, this is the 10th and this is the 9th now, right? So from 9th now, one branch is going, piercing the floor and it's going to the tympanic membrane. Okay, so there is one thin plate of bone is also present in the uh, middle side, right? So this is the, um, sorry, thin plate is present in the uh, floor side, right? So these are the floor uh, roof. Now tell me the lateral surface. It's very easy. Lateral surface is formed by what? If you are entering from here, first of all, one wall, wall will come. That is the tympanic wall, uh, lateral wall of the middle ear, and that is formed by the tympanic cavity. Uh, so, sorry, tympanic membrane, right? So if you are going from here, here is the. Uh, if you are going from here, okay, there is one. Uh, Wall okay, but it is not like this. It's like this. If you are going from here, it is thin here. Why? This is the part flaccida and this is the part tensa. And one bony part is like here. Okay, that is like screw term like one part. Okay, so it is formed like this only. Okay, so this is all uh, medial wall, over, uh, lateral wall, medial wall, anterior wall, posterior wall, roof, and the floor. This, everything is over. Can you tell me the RP supply? Fast, be fast in the arterial supply. Can you tell me the arterial supply? Here is the arterial supply. Arterial supply. This is what? Anterior tympanic artery, right? So, anterior tympanic artery. And second is the what? This is what? From here, this, this. See here, this posterior tympanic artery. So, here is the posterior tympanic artery. These both are the major. Okay, there is four minor arteries. Okay, you can ignore four arteries. Okay, that minor artery, but you can't ignore this major artery, right? So, in the minor artery, one is the superior, superior tympanic um, branch, superior tympanic branch. Uh, it is a branch from which artery? Middle meningeal artery. One. Uh, this is one. Second thing is there is a petrosal branch, right? Petrosal branch. That is branch of the middle meningeal artery. Am I right? There is one tympanic branch of inferior carotid artery. So, tympanic branch of internal carotid artery. So, these are the arteries. Okay. So, this all are the arteries you have to remember, right? Now, and one artery for the canal for the tensor. Uh, so, one artery for the uh, petrosal uh, artery for the petrosal like that uh, for petrosal canal okay so these are the artery supply okay can you tell me the venous planes tarigo the, the tarigoid venous plexus okay it's it's uh, uh, dealt with the tarigoid venous plexus can you tell me the lymphatics first lymphatics lymphatics see here is the parotid drain so it drains to the parotid lymph node right and retropharyngeal lymph node so, pharynx and the, this is the pharynx, retropharyngeal, retropharyngeal and one is the parotid gland, right? So, parotid gland, tell me the nerve supply, easily you can tell the nerve supply, see from glossopharyngeal nerve, one is the, from glossopharyngeal, a branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve, you can tell chorda tympani also, this chorda tympani, can I tell, here is one branch that is called, um, greater palatine now here is one this is the quarter the benign here is one this is branch branch for the stapedius muscles right and here is two cortico tympanic now so cortico tympanic cortico tympanic now so this all are the now okay so before going to uh, complete this video i i want to tell you one thing that you have to tell me what is the content of the middle ear? Can you tell me the content of the middle ear? One thing you you should not forget that is the air. Right? Middle ear is the air filled cavity present in the pitrous part of the temporal bone. Am I right or not? Yes. Now one is there. Second. Can you tell me the second? See, there is the three ossicles. Okay, many synchrosis steps. So three ossicles. Okay. And can you tell me the now? Is there now? Yes, quarter tympani is going. This two now is coming, right? Now is there. Can you tell me the uh, vessels? Is there vessels? Yeah, is there vessels? 
See, anterior tympanic artery and the posterior tympanic also. So, the vessels is also there, right? Now, can you tell me, the, if, if you are telling ossicles, then you should tell ligament. Ligament is also there, right? So, and muscles, tell me, is there muscles? Yes, two muscles. Can I tell tendon of the tigo, um, tensor tympanic muscles? And one thing is the stupid muscles, so two muscles. So, these all are the content. Am I... So I think I have covered everything. See, now in the clinical aspect, what we have to see? Otitis media. What is the otitis media? Otitis media is the infection of the middle ear. Right? There is a um, type of otitis media is also there, right? Separative otitis media, non-separative, right? Uh, necrotizing otitis media, everything is there, okay? Uh, but you should not go in the detail, okay? That is the ear part. Okay, so I think I have covered everything. Steps, movement, you should remember. RT supply, I told. And uh, terrible venous plexus and the uh, superior... Uh, uh sinus okay it will depend with this and uh, everything i have covered so you remember the facial now you should remember like this here is the canal here is the canal right from here one branch will come from here one branch here and one is it. this is the greater petrosal this is the now to the stipidus and this is the quadratic canal since it is going from there and we are visualizing from here so only this is called a tensor tympanic tension so only this tension okay so i think i have covered everything about middle here okay so thank you